Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted and I did say I was going to do this video with my buddy Dory. However, he hasn't been feeling well and I've had this Tokyo Treat box sitting for about a week. I can't let it sit any longer. It's been calling my name. So I'm going to open it now and we're going to enjoy it. Trusty Kunai. Look at this box. Like, this is absolutely gorgeous. I believe it's September's box. Um, I don't remember, but I mean, I would assume so, since we're mid-September, and it's been here for a week. Point it away. Of course, first things first, we got the Moon Festival Munchies, Tokyo Treat, yep, volume 82 for September. Ooh. And then it comes with every box, again, tells us exactly what's inside the box. I will be putting what's in the box in the video. My nose is like burnt or something. Anyways, let's just start jumping in. And of course, the first item is the Kit Kat. Salt Lemon. Um, interesting. I mean, salt and lemon can go well together, but I didn't expect it in a Kit Kat. Oh, holy cannoli, that smells good. Vickers. Holy shit. It's very salty. But like, you have a lemon flavor pushing through the entire box. And it really contrasts with the salt really well. Holy shit. By far one of the best Kit Kats I've had since... 2020 when I was getting Tokyo Treat Box originally and I got the Apple Pie Kit Kats. Oh my god. So good. Next item. I'm scared. It's Hello Kitty. I don't know specifically what. It's Hello Kitty. Okay. It's like a fluffy pastry. Smells like bread. Look at that. Just like a trying to be a star. It's just bread. That's really disappointing. It's really dry. I don't want to even want to finish it. They're so dry. That is not good at all. And maybe it's just like sat here for an extra week or something, but it was not good. Kind of looks like a pizza flavored puff. That sounds delicious. Ooh, it smells good. There's no pizza flavor. Why tell me pizza flavor if it's not pizza flavor? Again, disappointing. Still better than my last pan grade, but disappointing. These look like a orange mochi, kind of. I like the packaging of this one. This one's a really nice package. Oh, that's a strong orange flavor smell thing going on there. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. Like the texture on that. Like, look at that. Oh, it's sticky. I'm sticky. The smell is probably about a thousand times better than the actual flavor of that. The smell is very pungent. pungent. The flavor is very weak and bland. 
so thick now, like you can still get like a bit of like a tangerine flavor, but it's not good. Noodles. I think I'll make these on my TikTok. We'll do that later. These are like always one of the best items in the box. Oh, I hope this is one of the good ones. I really hope so. It's one of the mediocre ones. It doesn't have the best flavor, but it's really good still. I swear to God, every box that gets one of those you know it's a good box for the most part because those are delightful and delicious probably not nutritious uh, another one of these things where you get a fake flavor and it's on a candy stick i think this is green apple really good oh my god the apple flavor gets so much better as you start to like chew it in your mouth is this poppy no poppy pocky it's not it's porky which i'm assuming is just like a pretzel stick before i open it i like that Um, burnt pretzel stick? I don't like that. Honestly, that makes me want to puke. Um, yuck. I don't know how to describe that flavor. It is not good. At all. Aji curry. Oh, that, that flavor is going to be stuck in my mouth forever. Chocolate. Literally tastes like curry. This is actually really good. Again, another item you wouldn't expect to be very good. But it's delightful. Next item. Not these again. They're never good. At least these ones don't smell like soy sauce. I really don't like soy sauce. I mean, they smell worse than they taste. Still not that good. But I'm going two items that really aren't that good. <gasps> Cheese neck. Oh, it's literally just a cheese. Brick. It's like got cheese inside of it. I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh wow. That's good. It tastes like cheesies with cheese whiz inside them. That's really good. It looks like Ritz crackers. <laughs> food in my keyboard. I'm sure we all know that problem. <laughs> yes, please. Strawberry waffle. 
butterscotch cheese flavors are sitting in my mouth. I'm going to finish that after this video. Oh. Oh. It's dry. Oh my god. Oh. It's so good. Oh my god. Right wrong. Holy shit, last two items ready and then the drink. Look cute guys with candy. Much flavor. Well, they're just basically sugar in a pack. Almost tastes like a sweet tart mixed with a rocket. I don't know. Not bad. This is a panda apple cookie. Pandoro. Oh, melon. Sorry, not apples. Get it right. Looks like the packaging. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so good. My L do it in there. Mm. Alright. Last but not least. Sangria flavored um, ume flavored soda. Looks interesting. It's really tiny. Ooh. I'm gonna say it's not good. Like I would not go buy this, but it's also not bad. And I'm trying to figure out what's good about it. But I'm also be like, what is that flavor that is so bad? And I can't figure it out. I don't know. It's not bad. I'm probably I'm gonna finish it. So I'm just gonna put it there. So that's everything from this box. It's the September box. It is the Moonfest box. It's a good box for the most part. Like I said, there's the, the two items I just personally don't like, but that's just me. Everything else was fairly good. There's a few things that had like a slight flavor deficiency, but other than that, it was good. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Get your grandma to subscribe. Get your parents to subscribe. Brothers, sisters, friends. I don't care who. We're getting a little bit blurry there. Just make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.